Next we have my Koshiana Pruna piece, wherever you are. Oh, you're there. And you're facing the right way, which makes a change. I would have said he's not hungry. The worm's gone right down in there and has come right back out. That was not helpful, you. Mm? He might eat it later. On to the next one. We have Lassie Adority's Striatus. You have got loads of springtails in here. in for it now. You little bugger. My K Bruna piece has just launched out and got the worm. That was very rude of you. Yeah, yeah, you go back down there in that burrow. You should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, little turd. Right, back to you. You're letting your worm do as it pleases. Come on, it's food. This one we, this is Agen. My little Agen. To me worm. I really messed up on the focus then. But you get the idea. You're ferocious, aren't you? Yeah. You're ferocious. Oh, now we have a little one. And it is my Kyria Cosmos Venezuelensis. She's on her way. She got it. Now we have Formictipus auratus. Well, wow, that was exciting. Look at the worm. Struggling for life. That would make a really nice photograph, actually. Oh yeah, go on, fang action. Go on. 
No, just crunch down harder. That was an epic clip. <laughs> you just got a love of the mectopus. Now we have another one and it is the Cancerides. Oh. oh, the worm juice. You actually saw fluid come out of the worm as he punctured his fang through. That is epic. Now he's covering up his face like, who turned the lights on? That was, that was brilliant, that was so fast. I need to get one of those, um, like a speedometer. That would be epic. Oh, now this one's malted, so we won't be feeling this one. Oh, but aren't you stunning? Oh, wow. I'll get you a closer look. This is my Pamphobetus. Vespertinus and although she's quite small she's actually getting some colour like her adult colour just look at that beautiful red colour sete she's pretty much lost her pattern on her abdomen her baby pattern and the carapace has got like a peachy red colour and so has her patellas. That is a stunning, stunning spider. And there you can see her old carapace with that dark blue colour. And just look at the difference. But that is awesome. She's a stunner and she is another one that needs an upgrade. And now we have Saracoberma Ruboritans, I think. I know, I know, you hungry. No, don't you come out. Don't you come out. That's naughty. Oh, I missed that then. Oh, another one with worm juice poking out. But she's another stunning spider. Jet velvety black with red hairs. What is not to like? Flick your bum hairs at me, missus. Look at that satay. Oh, our spinnerets are going. Go on, do a little happy dance. We haven't had one yet. She's like, stop looking at my butt fingers. Okay, now we have my homeoma chilensis, which is taking hundreds and hundreds of years to grow. Oh, it's molted. I don't know what's going on, but it's molted like three times this summer already. And it's starting to get the little red bit on its bum. Oh, let's get you a look. Oh, this is so exciting. He's on the move. You can just make out. It's more red through my eyes, but it's coming out orange on the camera. It must be the heat of the room because, like I say, he's molted three or four times this summer. Either that or it's a male. It's probably just the warmth. But either way, if it is a male, I don't care. I'm still going to have him for a very long time. Right, next we have Schizopelma by Karen Artem. Is that mould or webbing? I can't actually tell. 
Let's do tweezers. Oh, no, it's webbing. Oh, and she's molted. Oh my gosh, she's there. I didn't see her for a moment. All I saw was the molt. Oh, you've molted a while ago. I'll show you on the camera. Oh, and you're starting to get colourful. I just love it when the adult colours start to come through. It's just so cute. So this one has a little heart butt, but you can see it has like orangey legs and blue femurs. It's very similar to uh, a grown on sling GBB when they start to get their blue femurs. Well, these guys go pretty much all purple when they're adult. But we'll leave her be. My Rocky Perma or Ratum sling. No, you get down. Don't you be naughty. Is a very naughty sling, and you've got your grown up colours coming through. And again, this one's molted loads, so I don't know if it's another male. I've got a sub adult male up there. What are you doing? Running laps. He was running laps then. And you're supposed to be a brachypelma, not a baboon. You're not a baboon, are you? No, you're not a baboon. What are you doing? For goodness sake. You've had your wheat bix, haven't you? Have you had your wheat bix? Not on your mealworm, you haven't. Go on, munch your worm. Got a tiny little bum. No, even now he's trying to come out. Don't do that. Naughty. That's good. Naughty spoons. That one was a freebie, actually, from Tarantulas Online. And I had this itty bitty sling. Okay. Oh, another bracky. Another feisty bracky. This is my bracky palmer bony. No, you're not coming out. No, get in. Come on, it's nibbling your toe. Yeah, you bite him back. Oh, nearly flipped over. Ooh, ride him, cowboy. Another rodeo food. Didn't think that one was going to eat for a sec. Nope, now you're trying to do a runner with your dinner. You ordered food to go, did you? Goodness me. Oh, you'll see this one. My youthless parvus. There. Who said youthless were docile? Another one smoking a cigar. Beautiful. Oh, my grandma's still a Kira guy. Oh, you're there. Look at that defensive stance. You can't really see, but its abdomen is way in the air. I thought you were a grandma stola. Not a pamphabetius. Silly sausage. Let's see if a worm cheers you up. Well, that cheered you up, didn't it? Oh, don't fall over. Eight legs and you can't stand on your own feet. Oh, goodness me, nearly falling over again. 
are you doing? Show me your dance moves. Oh, we have a Terranoculus Chordatus. What are you doing out of your burrow? What are you doing out of your burrow? You get back in there. Are you falling on your back, you silly sod? No, you're not coming out. No, 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 no. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, you can see the droplet of juice coming out of the worm. That was pretty awesome. Was you hungry, hey? Was you hungry? Formictopus South Hispaniola. Oh, you missed. You missed, little one. Oh, damn, it's not going to focus now, is it? Go on. You get him. You get him. Oof. Look at that. Another hungry one. This one molted two weeks ago. And it is looking amazing. Next we have Cerecopelma species boquette. Oof. Another awesome takedown. Her spinnerets are almost white, it's really cute. I am loving these Sarah Capelma, they're so feisty. They're big and chunky like a bracky but have the attitude of like a Formictopus or a Pampho. Where are you going? Where are you going? But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please thumbs up and comment something down below. I love to talk to you guys. If there's anything that you want to see, let me know down in that comment section. If you have any ideas for how I can improve, comment down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. And until next time, guys, take care. And I will see you all soon in the next video. Bye.